Hey guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, I'm going to be um, explaining and doing a mod showcase for Mr. Crayfish's Vehicles mod. Um, today, um, I really also released Mr. Crayfish's Gun mod. So, um, I'm making up for the two weeks of videos I missed, so, um, let's get back into the video. Alright, so, um, we have to start, so let's, um, this mod is about the, um, vehicles. I'm good. I have in these boxes here. I have the most um, important vehicles. I think at least. So this um, is an ATV. Since I'm in creative mode, I um, am able to drive this without fuel. Normally, though, you would have to. Um, I don't know how you make it, but you can make um, this thing called Felium. And once you have Felium buckets, since I'm in creative mode, it's still, I'm gonna be full. I filled it up to 50%. And then you can fill it up to 100%. And you can grab this. And f um, oof. There's um on every vehicle. There's like a hole that you can put this into. Put that thing into that can fill it up. But um, I don't. I can't. I just can't find that hole right now. Oh wait. I no. I just got the ATV again. Alright, this is a dirt bike. This is a... Wait. This has to go in the water. And conveniently, there's a little pond over here. And that is a jet ski. This is another water vehicle. And this is the speedboat. And, of course, there's also air. So we're gonna need a little a path for a runway. Because this is a sports plane. Just turn that that way. So, why don't we test them out? Alright, first we'll have to test out the ATV. I got in the wrong seat. I put some boost pads here. So, if we can hit him right, you can do that. Makes a weird sound, but that might be a work in progress. Alright. The dirt bike is better for hitting one of those. And also, it can, can get more air. The dirt bike is still a work in progress. So you only see like an entity name thing and stuff. I don't know what that means, but whatever it is, it means it's a work in progress. Um, next you have to jet ski, which can, you know, like real life jet skis go very fast. My cape is doing something. I don't know what, let's turn it into three different like flashing things. Anyway, next we have a speedboat, which is like a motorboat. Got it stuck. Oh, never mind. Alright. And finally, last but not least. Um, we have the sports plane. This is 
probably the hardest one to to, to fly because I don't have I don't have a clue how you do. How do you fly this thing? Oh, there you go. You, um, you use the space button to get higher. So, like this. So now we are up high in a plane. Do not hit the shift button because that's how you get out of it and crash it like that. Um, I'm gonna quickly get back to find my. I gotta find my mod showcase setup. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Sorry if this takes a minute. Because that wild um driving a plane really made it. I just flew absolutely flew into a mountain. <laughs> um should be around here. There we go. Here it is. Alright. Um, and how you, you can, this is the workbench you make them in, like the last video. Here's the optional paint color. This time you actually need two other things. Um, for example, the smart car, you, um, you need an electric engine and some wheels. Luckily, I have both of those. You can use many of these, and both all of these can do different things. Like, for example, if you're in a snowy tundra and you're making things, you can put on the snow tires, which make it a lot easier to go through snow. I think I'm gonna, and it goes the same with all of the other ones. I think I'm gonna go all terrain. Um, actually, no, I think. I'll go, um, off-road. So, I, and, in this chest right here, I also have, um, a, they, they use different types of engines. For example, like, an ATV or a dirt bike uses a small engine. There are different tiers of engines, like, for example, wood tier, stone tier, iron tier, gold tier and diamond tier for like the large engines that goes the same for all the other ones um so i'm gonna have to grab the electric engine for that just make a little room for the other things too and then we are gonna have to get the materials that i got before um, I started this video, so, they're, and they're all conveniently right here. So, for example, here we are. This is, um, a smart car, and I've got all the materials. So, then we have to put in the wheels, the off-road wheels, and then the engine. And now, you can craft it. And, like the other one, it pops out the top. And there um, is a smart car. It is pretty fast. Um, and it's also green with an electric engine. So, but also I have another, some other materials to make a different one. And that is um, an ATV. As you can see, there are a lot of options. Um, the, all of these crates you can see right here, these are all, um, the vehicles you can use. Ranging from trailers to, um, to jet skis, ATVs, and sports planes. So, you, as you can see, there are a lot of different options. And now, I'm gonna have to make 
Um, I have still have a few extra ingredients. So, I'll just put the leftover ingredients in there. Here. So then, um, we get, um, the other materials. So, I think for our next one, I'll do all terrain. Oh uh, yeah, I'll have to get the necessary ingredients, which, of course, conveniently, I have here. So, I'll make our next one. This one requires a small engine, because obviously you can't put a large engine inside an ATV. Um, although, that would look pretty funny. You can't. And... It would probably make the most sense to put an all-terrain wheels on this thing. And, now, I have that thing I just crafted. And, uh, as you can see, it can go a lot easier on all-terrains. So, alright, um, now... You've seen how you like craft all these things. Um, I think I I don't know what these do. You can get your mod for yourself to do or what's it? See what these do. But I didn't. I currently do not know what to do with them. This um a jerry a uh, one of these jerry cans either. A normal jerry can or an industrial jerry can um, can be used like you can fill it up here and then if, for example if you're like out in the middle of nowhere and your vehicle just ran out of ammo and there's no pumps near you you can grab one of these jerry cans and fill it up which can be very helpful if you lose fuel um we have the large engine so, and we have the fuelium bucket used to fuel that up. Ne next, we have the spray can, which if you, um, for example, were in creative mode and didn't craft, like, um, craft it hand by hand and put the dye in, you, you I think, can spray, use the spray can and make it look like that. So you just right click it, any vehicle you want and it will make automatically spray it, texture it blue so as you can see though its durability is going down every spray i do so like see look if i do one i can't do any more sprays because it's all out and i'm pretty sure you have to I think you have to craft a new spray can if you, um, let me see. Oh, wait, I know, it says right here you can refill the spray cans by placing them with a non-colored spray can in the crafting table. So, that's how you do it. I th I'll test that out right now. So, let's go to a crafting table. Put that there. There. And, and to show you, um, that as it refilled, we couldn't color this before because it was out. Look at that. It refilled it. So, that's, um, you can make Fuelium. I don't know if I went over it already, but I don't know how to do that currently. Um, but I'm pretty sure um, these things these things are used to create it. And I think they're like powered and use like Ender Sap and the Blaze Juice. But I don't know how to do that, like I just said. You can also use the Fuel Drums. The traffic cones can be used like actual traffic cones and can block a vehicle from moving through it. And after that, that's 
pretty much with them all the mods I saw through. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell button. See you tomorrow.